Welcome, this is Paul McCoy from PMAC Precision Rifles. I am fortunate today to be here at uh, Valdata Optics in Burleson, Texas. And uh, we're very excited to bring you a new product that we have been working on. Val and I have been working on this for about 18 months. Mostly Val, but I, I helped a little. So, uh, this is something that we're, we're tremendously excited about. This is the Recon G2. Our initial recon scope that you see here in front of me was a huge success. In fact, we still to this day can't get them in fast enough to fill orders, but we wanted a better scope. We wanted to take everything that was good about the recon and make it better, and we feel like we've done that. So I'm going to start at one end of this thing and uh, kind of go to the other and go through all of the features that we've incorporated into this. Uh, starting on the, on the business end of this scope, we've got a 56 millimeter objective. We've got low dispersion APO glass. Uh, this is a 40 millimeter tube, same as the original recon. Inside this tube is German shot glass, the best glass in the world. It doesn't matter how big this objective is, in the end the light has to get from this end to this end. And the glass in this tube and the size of this tube is what determines the quality of the picture that you actually see. So that's why we've stayed with German shot glass. We get up here to our knobs, the big change on the G2 is that we, while the initial uh, recon had the parallax on the front, which works very well, uh, I ran it in the PRS for two years, had no problems with it, but the average guy is used to the parallax being on the side, so we moved the parallax over here to a traditional spot, and then the illumination knob is on the outside of that. And we've got uh, the same reticle, we're using the X1 reticle, uh, but we even made some changes to that. We felt like that the line thickness was just a hair too much on the original recon, so we've actually lightened the line thickness up just a little bit on this G2. Uh, we've got, on the original recon, we had 120 MOA of elevation adjustment. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. On this one, 150 MOA. Uh, you just don't find that in, 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 I don't know of another scope that has that much adjustment in it, but there, there may be one. Uh, as we move back, whereas this is a 4 to 28, this is a 4.8 to 30. So we've actually got a wider magnification field. We've also increased the eye relief because a lot of these 40 millimeter tube scopes end up on some pretty big rifles, some 338s and some Shytacs and different things. Now we got a lot of them running around on 6.5 Creedmoors and 6 millimeters and they work great on those. But we've got even an additional uh, quarter to 3 eighths of an inch of eye relief in this thing for you guys that are wanting to mount these on the big rifles. We're using uh, an anodized finish here that, that's extremely durable. Our clicks, uh, very tactile, you can hear them and feel them. And we've got a new zero stop system in this. It's very simple, you pop this knob up, uh, loosen three set screws, rotate a ring, and the zero stop is set. Uh, I do want to mention at this point that a lot of you guys will set your zero stop at zero. That's really not what a zero stop is for. A zero stop is designed to keep you from going a full revolution past zero. And because of mirage and different things, your zero is going to move from day to day. So I really strongly recommend that you give yourself a couple of mils of adjustment past zero and set your zero stop where you can actually turn past zero a little bit. And that'll save you, you know, going to the range and you need to take a tenth or two out of it. And you can't do that because you've got it set to zero and you end up having to re-zero your zero stop. So, um, you know, with this, you can accomplish all of that. Now here's the best news of all. While we've had a hard time keeping the recon in stock, we're going to be able to sell this scope at a lower price point than the original recon. The G2 is actually going to be a little cheaper uh, and it's got, you know, we've taken everything that was great about the original recon and we've made it even better. And on top of that, it's going to be a, a lower price point. So this is truly a win-win deal for you uh, out there that are looking for a quality optic. This is a 7300 uh, rifle that I built. I'm going to take this thing out and just uh, hammer it for the next 30 days and we'll get back with you. But uh, the guys who've already shot this have, have just had, you know, nothing but good things to say about it. So if you're interested in this scope, we're going to be at the SHOT Show. This scope is going to be at the SHOT Show. You can find us in the American Rifle Company booth. And uh, Val is going to have this scope there. And it's going to be something you can actually put your hands on. And uh, you'll really enjoy getting a look at it. Delivery date on this is going to be somewhere around April or May of next year. And uh, once these start coming in, we should have them in good quantity. And uh, you guys should not be on a back order to get these things. So we're really excited about having something that we can bring to you in quantity and get out there that you're going to love. If you have any questions, contact either Val or I. You can contact me at pmacprecision at gmail.com. 
I'm happy to answer any questions you've got. Thanks.